So I recently made a Dragon Ball Kai review on my anime list. The reviews there are very questionable in various uh, topics. So I started to write some of my own and one of them were uh, Dragon Ball Kai or for you outside of Dragon Ball Z Kai. This review is based on comparing uh, Kai to its Z a Japanese counterpart because I didn't watch Dragon Ball in American and so since Japanese and American are the more prominent and I experienced Dragon Ball Z with uh, more faithful to what the Americans got I can judge it based on that so don't think I'm just a sub pleb or something I like dubs I just don't watch the American versions at least not Dragon Ball so let's get into it so Dragon Ball Kai or Dragon Ball Z Kai in the US is nothing more than a cheap cash grab by Toei to re-release Dragon Ball Z under a new name the original appeal of Kai is faithful is a faithful adaptation of the manga but it cherry picks what scenes are really important and usually not very voice one on paper uh, Kai is supposed to make the dragged out fights and episodes better paced but removing key filler from Z that made it so engaging even the best amount of scene removal didn't help because the manga pacing was horrible already the manga filler the anime filler such as in the Saiyan Saga had intense training arcs where characters not only trained to get stronger but also had to prepare themselves mentally and without the scenes, uh, these scenes Piccolo's death felt hollow since there are hardly any interactions with him and Gohan uh, the snake way um, didn't feel as long as it was portrayed the travel to Namek felt like driving to the convenience store in your own town uh, instead of going to space aka uncharted territory and some of the best episodes like the driver's license were removed it's the best episode in the cell saga is no more not to mention the other world tournament or modern censorship is also the reason not to bother with Kai unless you really can't look at cartoon blood or think a uh, show fighting for life and death shouldn't have blood you sh may like it and uh, there are also false advertisement with the opening uh, which doesn't make a uh, match up with what your what product you're really getting then uh, but when you watch the show to the naked eye it's really hardly to see the difference between Kai and C in terms of art and quali uh, quality. That is not to say that they didn't improve, it's just n just not noticeable until you put them side by side. It looks nothing like the opening. Another reason I heard that made Kai amazing is the lack of the Buu Saga. Sadly since the Kai got a sequel and continued that holds no more water. The, does the awful Buu Saga being part of Kai drags it down since the Buu Saga is the worst paced and dragged out fight in the manga so it's also the same for the anime. <laughs> I honestly don't feel anything for Kai it underperforms in every category uh, to see uh, but it's still good Dragon Ball, even if it's just a soulless cash grab. I can't give it uh, lower than a 5. It's awful, but not something a modern fan can get into. If you are a fan that likes a show to start slow and get better, you better watch Dragon Ball C instead. <laughs> 